<laughs> Hi guys! Supposedly I look deadly ill. So yeah, <laughs> this is the video. I'm gonna show you guys. I was say she what we're having for she dinner came today. Home from from work and she's she needs carbs. That's Maybe why. I feel deadly ill. Okay. Okay. Shush. Okay. What is one of our favorite meals while you're dieting? Pita pit salads. With and steak. we and we found this out just by going in there. But there's one on where we live, like on Woodlawn, and like best ever. The guy, guy looks like he lives, so he gives us a quite a bit. But let's check out mine, cause yeah, I already mixed mine. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. So we figure this is around uh, 20 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, and nine grams of fat. So look at that, it's massive. So we got, I get full spinach, um, grilled steak, um, jalapenos, banana peppers, mushrooms, cucumbers, onions, all that stuff. So. I get all the same, I just don't get, uh, <laughs> shut up. I just don't get jalapenos. I tried it once and they're just too hot for me. And that's funny because I'm the one who hated spicy stuff. And what sauce, we were getting the honey mustard that they have, but now, because Britt needs to be a little bit more direct, we're using Thousand Island Walden Farm sauce. It's pretty good. Correct? How was your day? Do you want me to be honest? I had the worst workout ever. I okay. was tired. I had way too much caffeine. And I'm still tired. Okay, that's it. But you look good. Front double bye. Oh. Oh, sickening. Okay, love you. Saturday morning. We're just weighed in. 141, new low. And this is what we're having as our pre workout meal oats, and a cup of almond milk, and two scoops of protein. My favorite part about Saturday is getting up, not having to rush to work, and sitting down to some good old oats and some pancakes. Throughout. Toss that in there. World's the best thing. World's the best thing. We're using a casein right now. I'm using. We can. We usually use either vanilla or peanut butter. I'm using chocolate cake batter. How's it taste? It's good. Mm. Not like a cake, but it's definitely it's chocolate. That's it's good. It's not when you're dieting. Yeah, maybe when you're dieting. Morning, guys. I have my sleepy face on. Um, and I also got my old school UFU shirt. Uh, this morning, I would like to get a little bit more veggies in. So. I'm having just pure spinach and a little bit of um, veggie greens. Veggie greens. I forgot what that was called. I already drank half of it, but here we go. It doesn't taste that bad, but so the expert when you ex get a chunk. The, the reason why she's having it is because we're going to a family day thing and we probably won't be eating a meal with a bunch of spinach in it. So to get in your daily spinach, you're drinking it, right? Yes. I'll go get Reese because she's crying. What's going on guys? I want to show you um, what I'm currently doing for lunches right now when I get to work. I'm usually having two meals um, at work and I'll add in, depending on my days, I'll usually add in um, a couple, either like a Quest bar or an all natural Daryl bar. And right in the morning I do two scoops of um, ISO Smooth and 100 grams, 100, 100 grams, 150 grams of spinach right in the morning and then I'll have uh, a meal with a bar, maybe two bars and then another meal later on that I'm pretty much done with. So as you know I do flexible dieting so I'm going to show you my crazy antics with flexible dieting. Totally abnormal. I don't know if I even lift 
and this stuff is so crazy that even the most flexible dieter probably couldn't survive. So we got, I usually have two days prepped um, and we got seven ounces of white potato, 150 grams of broccoli and three to four ounces of chicken. I got three here. We got um, weighed out raw is 60 grams of rice, white rice. I know, crazy. I'm doing white potato and white rice. Insane. Um, 150 grams of broccoli and 125 grams of lean ground turkey. It is not grass fed. Do I even lift? This is flexible dieting at its best. Those two meals are the exact same, just different bowls, and I lost the lid right there. What else do I got? I bring a little bit of extra white potato. It's plain, it's dry, it's flexible dieting. I keep the skin on, it's insane. But, whichever meal, so I usually need about another 80 grams of carbs from other sources, so I'll bring extra carbs to add into my meals. And it's either white potato or craziest is I do minute rice in the ready to serve cups. So this is my typical day for um, dinner. Brittany is crazy too. She chugs spinach shakes. She is flexible dieting at its best as well. So there you go. There you Morning guys. Um, just walking down the hill right now. I'm going to do my sprints outside today. I have uh, 10 sets. So I'm gonna run up the hill as fast as I can and walk down. So yeah, let you guys know how it goes, but I'll show you what the hill looks like. So I guess it doesn't look that steep, but a pretty good incline. All right, see you guys. It's so nice out here though. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Yeah, you guys probably don't want to hear me doing this any longer. But yeah, finish my 10 sprints. I calculated the first one and then I was like, fuck it. It was like, the first one was like 20 seconds. So I'm a little faster or a little longer than my regular sprints, but it's all good. And it was a nice challenge with the hill. All right, have a good day, guys. Boom, here we go. 12 weeks out, update on what uh, Brittany's weight is she hit a low on um, Saturday, which worked out perfect the day the refeed way that we turned, wanted to turn out was 141.0. Zero. <laughs> 141 on the dot. Awesome. She lost about a pound and a half last week, so um, we're basically we're gonna keep everything the same. Uh, this week I'm not gonna change anything. Um, basically, what I want to see is maybe midway through the week I want to see how her weight comes off for the refeed. Hopefully, her energy can stay up from Saturday, so she actually burns more calories just through everyday life. She was feeling a little bit tired last week, so hopefully we can maintain everything and uh, she feels energized a little bit more through this week. Mm -hmm. um, so how was last week? It was, it was pretty good. I had a couple days where I was a little tired, um, but a lot different than I was like the previous week. I think I told you guys I felt really bad. So this week wasn't that bad. It was just a dieting week. And one thing that we found out actually with Britt was that um, as, as she diets down and macros start going lower and lower, obviously we're advocates of flexible dieting and if it fits your macros, but as the calories come down, macros come down, you have less and less room to add in those you know treats that you want. So everything has to be spot on as far as micronutrients. And we actually found out, it was funny, Britt said the one day that she was like, oh my God, I'm craving like hamburger. I don't like hamburgers. And she doesn't like hamburgers and then she's like, oh my god, like I'm, I'm bruising really easily, like, um, like, I don't know what's going on. She has low iron. 
So absolutely weird how that all worked out, but uh, she stopped because she had to work in the morning. She wasn't doing spinach shakes or like her micro shakes. So everything kind of rolled in at once. So we just got to get that iron back up. For a lot of women, this can actually be quite an issue just because again, your, your calories and macros are going to be low. So take special care of what the body's trying to tell you. Yeah. And uh, a couple things that also, we're going to... Also though, oh. like I was uh, still getting a lot of my vegetables and stuff but I wasn't getting my spinach, so my body was probably used to that. And I was feeling a lot more tired, and if you look, if I go back probably two weeks, that's when I started at 7 a.m., so yeah. that's probably why I was feeling more tired too with diet. So a couple things that we're gonna introduce into Britt's um, food that she needs to do is eating uh, red meat, like extra lean ground beef, uh, two to three times a week. And we're also gonna introduce um, uh, dark chocolate into her diet as well. So the cool thing about dark chocolate is for half this bar, half the arrow bar, um, you can get like straight up like dark chocolate, but we prefer the this. Are fun. Um, for half the bar, you're gonna get around 20% of your iron percentage. So for Brit, what she can actually do, let's say if she has like casein powder or like Greek yogurt, freeze it and then grab a knife, chop it up, and then it will come out in shards, and you can sprinkle that on top, or melt it on, I don't know, or, or just- Or you can just eat the Or you can just itself. suck on it, right? So, <laughs> yes. um, but we're gonna do something cool too right now. We're actually gonna show you the supplements Brittany's using for uh, the up and coming uh, bikini competition, UFE, uh, North American Championships. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to quickly show you guys what we're going over and um, I work for a nutrition store, Body Systems Nutrition, so um, you know I know a little bit more about the extent of why she's taking it, why we're utilizing it, and she just reaps the benefits. So, you know. um, so you can go over some of your stuff. So one thing that I love, um, Scott would always make it and you know I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. I tried the cookies and cream and I am officially addicted. It's casein. Casein protein. This one's good too. This is cake batter, chocolate cake batter. So good though. I, and I we, really love it. We this. don't use casein for um, um, any type of slow digesting protein. Like she's not having it before bed because we think that she, like the amino acids are going to like help repair her through the night. It's, it's basically a texture thing. So. For a scoop of casein, it whips up like a like a icing on a cake. So it's something that she can enjoy that still tastes really good. Scott will actually take it and put it on his like he'll spread it on his um, rice cakes. Rice cakes. Yep. Yeah. Um, I also take Nutrisy. Um It doesn't taste the best, but yes, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Like you so, just take a spoonful of that out with your oil. I've actually noticed I have fingernails for the first time. Let's explain what it is. Let's explain what these products are. So Nutri-C, before you go on about the benefits. So Nutri-C is a high potency omega-3. It's EPA, DHA. Um, she does one teaspoon a day. So basically you're going to reduce cardiovascular um, disease, increase cardiovascular health, um, the production of enzyme activity in between the cell, um, energy levels, cognitive function, anti-inflammatory, your skin, your hair. Um, basically, I think omega-3s are the most underrated products. So uh, for Brit, um, five, five grams of this a day. And yeah, five for, grams of fat? Yeah, and she adds it into her MyFitnessPal. For men, um, you got to go by EPA, DHA, so you want about three, three to five grams of EPA, DHA a day. Um, for bread, it's about two to three. I also take citrulline malate. So this is basically for pre-workout. It's all citrulline and malic acid bonded together. Um, this actually helps reduce uh, fatigue while she's training and nitric oxide production um, and energy naturally in the body. This is, a, this is probably one of my favorite pre-workouts, and I think you notice the benefits of it too. She uses uh, Nano Vapor by Muscle Tech. I love uh, it. I love it. It's an amazing. It's one one of the best pre-workouts for clinical dosing um, for products. So she uses that, and uh, she, if she uses one scoop of vapor, it doesn't have the full amount, so she'll just add this into it. 
and I'm actually all out, so maybe you can get me some tomorrow. <laughs> I like the blue. Um, this is beta alanine. This is in a lot of the pre-workouts too. If uh, Britt's having uh, just one scoop of a pre-workout or none at all, or on her days off, she takes two scoops, which is around four grams. Get and beta tingles. Yeah, this is what gives you the tingles during a pre-workout. Amazing product, amazing for endurance. So it'll help her out with any cardio activity or high rep, like maybe like a 40 rep walking lunge. Um, this is the reason why I take it too. I love this stuff. But uh, you need the full dose, have it every single day. Doesn't really matter when you take it, just pre workout is nice. Vitamin D3, I love this stuff. Um, I find like once you start taking it too, you actually notice when you don't have it. You almost, I don't know, I, I, I don't, I sometimes get not depressed, but when it's gloomy out, she gets you need depressed. your vitamin. <laughs> so, vitamin D3 is basically um, how our body synthesizes. Um, or sorry, when we we talk about vitamin D as the sunshine, the sunshine vitamin. So when our body synthesizes vitamin D, it's vitamin D3. Five thousand IU's is what I would recommend. You, like there's crazy ranges. Some people would do forty, I forty thousand IU's. Five thousand IU's is good enough. I take four, and in the winter time I'll bump it up to six. Um, Brick tosses all of her vitamins and just in a convenient package, but. Uh, I'm just showing you mine. I'm actually sponsored by Blue Star Nutraceuticals. Um, good quality company. The Vitality, their multivitamin is great. I take the women's Vitality. Yeah. I just don't have the pack as much as Scott's showing it. So Britt has the uh, women's one. Um, I think a multi is probably one of the most basic and essential um, uh, supplements that you can use. I've tracked my vitamins and minerals and it's very hard to hit them all on, you know, perfectly and uh, but I think as a backup multivitamin yeah creatine uh, if she's not taking nano vapor or whatever just five grams creatine everyone knows whatever yeah. oh and also uh, calcium and magnesium yeah so this is another thing as you diet down I mean you can take well you can add in more and more vitamins if you're becoming deficient but calcium magnesium tablets uh, takes two a day. And uh, Iso Smooth, again by Blue Star. Um, basically, Iso Smooth would just be if uh, uh, you just need a low fat, low carb protein. Mixes up really good. You can put it in like Greek yogurts, shakes. Um, yeah, see, I personally would rather have a vanilla one like this with my sweater personally. Okay, oops. Okay, we're back. Sorry. Had to delete a few videos. But uh, yeah, I personally really like these, like the ISO Smooth in my shakes, like a plain vanilla. I don't really like casein in my shakes, it makes it too thick. Um, yeah. But this, you know, it tastes good and it it's does. convenient and it's high quality. Um, look for a company that's third party tested too. I think that makes a big difference. So, third party testing as far as regulation goes. Um, not every company is third party tested so they can spike. Um, even parties that have some big names spike the protein with uh, glycine and taurine so the quality of it's very low. Um, so if you can get one that's third party tested I recommend this a lot of my clients use it as well. Um, honestly even if I wasn't sponsored by them people would still use it. I'd still recommend it. I really it liked sure. it too. So that's I think that's basically it for uh, coffee, good appetite coffee. suppressant. Um, I love my caffeine. Diet, diet pops. I, I follow us on Facebook, Scott McClellan Fitness Model, Brittany Pels, uh, Pro Bikini Model, and Slash Twitter Facebook. is Dreams Fitness. Instagram, Britt Pels. Britt Pels. And uh, thanks for the support, guys. Always enjoy it. Like, comment, share. And if you have any questions, Ask us in the comment box or inbox me. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Have a good night.